<clears throat> hey, I think that uh, Jai Patai's jaw is uh, Opatai's jaw is broken. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna turn the dent. Look, I think his jaw's broken. What a phenomenal event. Let me tell you something. I'm sold on a skill set. Dude is good. We have a new sheriff in town. Well, not necessarily the sheriff just yet. I do believe that um, Lawrence Okale is now, you know, the number one um, cruiserweight. And I understand your argument is going to say, well, Opataya just beat the number one guy in the division. But, you know, there are some factors. And we're going to talk about it. So he should score a unanimous decision victory over Miris Breedis, huge upset. The only person he's ever lost to was um, uh, Alexander Usyk in the final of the World Boxing Super Series, you know, several years back. Not to take anything away from uh, Obataya, because for one, my favorite punch overall is in, in boxing is the straight to the body. Obataya is a uh, southpaw, the first several rounds clearly out technical um, um, the skill set much better than Miris Breedis. I'm talking about taking him to school. You know, he was eating left hands um, left and right. No pun intended. Uh, round number four, there was a huge uppercut. I'm going to show you a replay of that on my Twitter page. The link to my social media is right down below in the description box. Let's turn it up a little bit. But I think that jaw is broken. But we must pay tribute as well to the champion. The chips were down. By the way, take a time out. Like the video. It really helps us up in the uh, YouTube algorithm as we're currently dealing with a uh, shadow ban, which means our content is not really being pushed by YouTube. But hey, we do it for you, the people. Is the world title about to, to change, change hands? hands? Yes, it is, Ben Damon. But, you know, if I'm being generous, generous, eight rounds to four for uh, Opatai. He clearly controlled the first half of the fight. First half of the fight through um, seven. I only gave uh, Mira's Breeders round number seven. Let's get to a little bit of highlights. What are they showing here? I'm trying to see if they're going to show the punch that possibly broke the jaw. Could have been that one. And these were, and, and Breeders didn't come on until late. This is the way I thought he was going to be able to fight earlier, but Opatai didn't let him, you know, very good movement for a cruiserweight. Very good movement. Like, you know, phenomenal movement for a cruiserweight. Overall boxing ability. You know, I'm going to put, you know, Lawrence Okali just because he's more experienced over him. And I understand what people are saying. You know, when I, you know, they say, well, Obatai clearly should be number one because he just beat the number one guy, Miris Breedis. It's not that you're wrong. But there are other factors. Let's listen to the cards. Please, as we get ready for our boxers to come centering for the decision. Boxers, centering, please. I'm interested to hear what these cards are going to be. And the problem with his jaw being broken is he may be out for a year. You know, that's tough. Up to a year or so, that's tough. I hope it's not the case. Gentlemen. But something's definitely wrong. Look at him. Championship rounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. <laughs> Judge John Basili scores the contest 116 112. Judge. Katsuhiko Nakamura scores the contest, 115-113. Judge Steve Weisfeld scores the contest, 116-112. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous points decision victory. Good thing is the right man won. 
the uh 200 pound limit cruiserweight division has just been put on notice this dude is good he's got the goods he's got the movement here let's talk about it um he's got the movement he's got the power even though he wasn't able to stop Breedus, but you know he had enough to keep Breedus off of him he's got the skill set he can box and you can see he's got the toughness you know and right now i would pick him to beat um wbc champion let's listen to this um interview incredible moment you've just fulfilled your destiny if you can speak ah! Ah! oh he can speak That might be the best we get from him, but can you talk oh, about talk. the toughness of him getting back up off the stool to go out for that final round, Mark Wilson? He came back like he broke it in the second round. He said the uppercut got him, but he didn't tell us to near the end there. But I think it was the 11th round where it really came to the floor, where he really just opened up and I don't know how we went back out there. He knew he had one to go. And I just said, move, move, don't even get things, because I thought we were winning comfortable. But uh, to Murray's credit, he came back in the last few rounds and Jai was getting tagged, but that's an incredible performance. How bad are you? We've got a new world champion in a fight like that, a performance like that. Uh, it's, it's something special, and he is a special kid. He's the first ever Australian to win an amateur world title and now a world professional title. So he, he'll go down in the history books. He's brilliant. He is brilliant. Congratulations to you, Mark Wilson. Congratulations to Jai Opatai, who is our new world champion. History is made on the Gold Coast and what fashion has been made in. And, you know, that was my thing. You know, looking at his resume and me and my colleague did a video, you know, um, actual multiple videos, and it was like, we don't know enough. There's not a, you know, for the people who believed in him, you know, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But with what we've seen, it was like, hmm, I wasn't really fully ready to write him off. But I was like, we're going to have to wait and see because, but now we know. You know, I, I'm, what else do you need me to say is that I'm sold. So we're going to be covering all of his fights here on the channel. And I'm interested, you know, what's going to happen um, with the division right now because the money guy's gone. And I'm sure guys like Lawrence O'Kali is probably sick right now, you know, because you know, the breeders that we saw tonight, the one that's been chasing around Jake Paul, you know, the question is, right? And it's ha and this is not to take away anything from Opatai because the skills that the skill set that I've seen tonight would beat anyone, you know, in that division, including Lawrence O'Kali. But the question is, you have to factor in he went over to that man's country and fought him. And I think that Bre Breeders thought that Opatai was going to be you know, an easy, oh, let me go over here and make this money, defend my title, you know, and get up out of here. I don't think he took him seriously. That's just my opinion. You know, I mean, and, and, and this happens to fighters because no one knew anything about Obatai. But now he's here. Let's talk about the division as a whole, you know. Let's talk about the division as a whole. Um, Here on my website, fightview360.com. The links are uh, down below in the description box. Our rankings are updated monthly in accordance with the sanctioning bodies. I think he would beat Makabu. Makabu was a Don King fighter. If you haven't heard, Canelo Alvarez earlier um, um, this year was interested in moving up the cruiserweight to fight Makabu. Then he met the Mutri Bevo. Um, Makabu defended his title against Tabisi Machuno on a Don King card. He's getting checked out by the doctor. Um, Machunu. So basically, from what I've seen tonight, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the, uh, the broadcast is still going on. I'm guessing it's his girlfriend or his wife. But yeah, you know, like, listen, if they saying he broke his jaw in the second round, you know, big, big, big scrotum on him, you know, to be able to go back out there and get the job done. You know, because, you know, like the pain I've heard is, is, is unimaginable. But anyway, he can beat Machuno for the WBC title. Ursin Gulamarian, he's trying to come back. Here is him right here. 
Um, but there's really no news. He wants to fight Richard Reactor, and I'm going to be honest. Richard React Richard Reactor is supposed to be the next guy in the division. You know, that's supposed to be the guy coming up, and I think that Opatai can beat him. Like I've seen enough tonight. He just beat Maris Breedis, winner of the World Box Super Series tournament. Um, um, he beat a, a former whatever's going on with Char, knocked Manuel Char out at um, heavyweight. You know, had a majority decision loss to Alexander Usyk, even though I think he lost that fight clearly. Like, dude deserves his flowers. So the cruiserweight division is not necessarily deep, but I think he can beat Dortico's. Even though Dortico's can box and that power, you don't want to give it. See, how is he going to be after he come back from getting his jaw broken in the biggest fight and the biggest step up in, in his career? You see what I'm saying? Like, you can see he's in some, some pain back there. Let me see if they show the, um, the uppercut. Let's see if they show the uppercut. I'm going to try to get you. Is this it? There we go. And Brutus was pretty much never the same after the uppercut. I'm talking about... You know, he he started walking back to the wrong corner. His nose was busted up for the rest of the fight. And he didn't start really coming on until late because I was wondering how long um, Opataya, using all the movement and the boxing he was doing early in the fight, was able to keep it up. But he didn't really start slowing down until about round eight or so. And that's when you can tell that Breedis sensed that and he started applying the pressure because at that point in time, he was so far in the hole, at least on my card, you know, on the scorecards. But, you know, the 116, 112, I can agree with. You know, 115, 113, I don't really know, you know, not necessarily like, you know, what they were, um, what they were watching. But now with the, with the, the, the jaw injury, uh, you know, that's going to bring some concerns because we don't know when he's going to be back. But I'm not going to be too long winded. Plus, I want to get my colleagues take uh, Big J on the fight. So take your time out, like the video, subscribe. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at uh, T Street Controversy. Let me pull it up here on the screen for you guys who need to see it. That's me. Just type in T Street Controversy or the link is down below. Also, I was doing some um, um, commentary on the fight. Here's the uppercut. Here's the uppercut. Like he ate, you know? Like, dude can box. And this was pretty much the equalizer right there. Just let Breeders know, like, oh, shit, I'm in a real fight. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you guys later. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe.